Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode here on the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob, but you can just call me Jay here. And today, the developers over at the aisle, they dropped dev blog number 9. This is basically a summary of everything that they've done in January since they've been back from the Christmas break that they took. And I wanted to make this quick video here to kind of explain all the important stuff that they addressed. Uh, and let you see some of the pictures that they showed off later down this dev blog. If this is the type of content that you want to see more of, please like and subscribe to this video so it lets me know what you guys want to see from me. But without further ado, let's dive into this dev blog. All right, so diving into the first paragraph here with our lead programmer, he basically explains how their time was spent uh, between fixing the desync issue and fixing and working on the Dinosuchus and Pteranodon animations and effects. So down here in this paragraph, I think it's really important to read this. This is talking about the Dinosuchus lunge and how it actually works in the game. So they say this ability is similar to pounce in some aspects, but won't be an automatic ability. The player will have to time the lunge with the bite to actually grab the prey. Also, this ability has different effects when swimming in deep water, shallow, or even land. So let me show you some effects that we have seen so far of what the Dinosuchus lunge looks like, at least on land, but I don't think we've seen what it looks like underwater so this is pretty exciting um and i'm wondering if it's really going to end up being the dino Suk is kind of swimming really fast when you use it underwater but we'll have to wait and see exactly what plays out so this next paragraph here from the programmer dmi5 he basically goes over in more detail about the desync issues and how he went and fixed that as well as fixing some of the safe logging aspects of the game however he d he gives off a new mechanic here for the dino Sukas that i don't think we've heard of and this is this is awesome so there's a new mechanic for the dino called water sense this lets you detect vibrations in the water you are in it's a passive ability but you can hold the scent key q by default to extend your detection range when stationary that's awesome uh i mean i guess it makes sense if you think about it the dino Sukas probably should be able to smell and search for other aquatic dinosaurs or fish uh once they're on the water with the scent mechanic um but hey, I think that's new news, and that's awesome, and I cannot wait to use it, and I'm really curious what it actually looks like. Wedge here, the sound designer, he goes over and explains how most of his time has been spent making sounds for both the Pteranodon in the air and the Dinosuchus underwater, because these are both new systems coming into play. You know, we've never had to deal with wind sounds up in the air, and we've never had to really um, spend a lot of time underwater. So it's really cool that the developers are thinking of the sound design. I know it's it's huge and extremely important in games. It's, it's one of those type of things in a game that if it's there and it's really good, you're super immersed and you don't even notice that it's good. But if it's not there, you're bored and it really stands out. So good job, Wedge. I'm really excited to hear everything you've put in. Here, Visual Tech 48, the environmental modeler, explains kind of what he's been up to. And, uh, you know, in the, the true coy aisle sense, he, uh, he redacts some of the information there. But he's basically talking about the perimeter fences and how he wants them to look like. He also goes over how he's modeled, and I'll scroll through here, uh, how he's modeled a new satellite image, as well as, you know, this building here. And he's been working on the gates as well. So feel free to pause the videos if you want a closer look at that as we get scrolling through these. Next up here is Bardo, and he gives us some pretty awesome pictures. Uh, you can always already see it sneaking in there, uh, but he gave us some pictures on the elders. So take it a look. We've got new elders for what looks like the Triceratops, or maybe that's the Avasaur. Uh, we've got the Carno right there. We've got an Oviraptor. And we got a pretty chonky looking Hipsy, that guy. I mean, it's still Hipsy, but that's a pretty beefy Hipsy. So <laughs> uh, awesome there, awesome there. Uh, Tapwim here, he, the concept artist, I've already shared a bunch of his work. He's a fantastic concept artist. So go check out some of my videos if you want close-up details on all this concept art. Um, he knocks it out of the park. Uh, thank you, Tapwim, for everything you do. It's really cool to see this type of art and then how it develops into the actual game over time with 3D models and the sounds and animations. It's awesome. Uh, this this is basically the start of everything and it starts really really well so this last paragraph here from kissing kitten the producer she basically goes over and explains their day in and day out and how they um, go through all the actions of you know getting stuff on like with pen and paper uh, in the beginning and then working that way through up through the animations and stuff so go ahead and pause the video here and, and check this out if you kind of want a, a foresight into what they do and every day and kind of how they make the game work um, but what i think is important here is their closing remarks so they said now that they're back from their holiday break they're refreshed they're eager and they're raring to go they say whilst we've had a few bumps in the road in terms of performance which they are still working on uh, the pteranodon and the dinosuchus are shaping up to be one of our most mechanically intricate playables yet 
and we're all incredibly excited to see what shenanigans <laughs> we get up to. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it, everybody. Um, they go over kind of how they work on everything. They've got the you know Tapwing and his concept art. They showed off all the elders, uh, the new models and such, even with the buildings and the gates. Um, they talk about their sound design, how they're working on the air and the water, which is awesome, uh, and basically how they've mainly been working on that desync issue. So that's going to be it for this quick devlog overview, everybody. If you like that video, please uh, like and subscribe as it really does help me out. And uh, I will see you guys in the next IL News update. Later.